In the last video, we talked about segmenting objects by using intensity thresholding. We found the threshold intensity by inspecting the image or using the intensity histogram. In this video, I'm going to introduce a new algorithm called Otsu's method. Otsu's method is an algorithm to automatically find the optimal threshold intensity. Otsu's method works by searching for the threshold intensity that optimally separates the image into two classes, the foreground and the background. It does this by maximizing a metric called the between class variance. This variance is given by the equation sigma b squared equals wb times wf times mu b minus mu f squared. wb and wf are called the weights and they are equal to the number of pixels in the background or the foreground divided by the total number of pixels in the image. mu b and mu f is equal to the mean intensity of the background or the foreground pixels. We're going to see how Otsu's method works by using an example. Here on the left, we have an example image with six gray levels, and these are labeled from zero to five. If we compute the intensity histogram for this image, we will get a histogram that looks something like this. Now the way Otsu's method works is the algorithm will first pick a value for the intensity threshold, so let's say the algorithm has now picked the value 2. In this case, any pixels with a value less than 2 is considered the background, and any pixel with a value of 2 or greater is considered the foreground. And these are labeled in red and blue. We can now compute the weights WB and WF. And remember that the weights are simply the number of pixels in either the foreground or the background divided by the total number of pixels in the image. For the background, the weight WB is given by 9 plus 6, which is the height of the bars in red, divided by 36, which is the number of pixels in the image. And this gives us a weight WB of 0 0.42. For the foreground, WF is equal to 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 4, divided by 36, which gives us a value of 0 0.58. We can now compute the average intensities mu B and mu F. And these are obtained by taking the height of each bar in the histogram multiplied by the gray level that it corresponds to. So for example, mu b is equal to 9 times 0 plus 6 times 1, divided by the total number of pixels in the background, which is 9 plus 6. And this gives us a value of 0.4. We can do the same thing here for mu f, which is the mean intensity in the foreground. In this case, it gives us a total value of 3.57. Now with the weights and the mean intensities computed, we can simply insert them into the equation and compute the between class variance, which is 2.44. Now you can repeat this computation for every possible threshold intensity and get a list of between class variances sigma b squared. And it turns out that the optimal threshold intensity is the intensity that gives you the highest between class variance. And in this case, the highest between class variance is 2.56 which corresponds to a threshold value of 3. And so this is, would be the output of Otsu's method on our example image. The threshold level is set to 3, so any pixels with values less than that will be the background, and any pixels with values of 3 or greater is the foreground. Let's switch over to MATLAB and see how this function works. I'm going to use the same image that we were using in the previous video, which is an image of cardiomyocyte cells. Now to run Otsu's method, you will use the function imbinarize. imbinarize has the following syntax, mask equals imbinarize i, where i is the matrix containing your image data. And this creates a mask of the objects in image i using Otsu's method. So going back to MATLAB, let's run that command and display the mask. You can see that Otsu's method does a pretty decent job, but it does sometimes fail to find the exact threshold that we would consider optimal. And in this case here, the middle of the cells, which are dimmer, appear to be dark. So we can fix this problem by using the function imfill. And imfill has the following syntax mask equals imfill mask comma holes. And we are using the second argument here to tell imfill to automatically fill in holes in the mask. 
and it defines holes as regions of faults surrounded by trues. Going back to MATLAB, we can try this out. Like any algorithm, Otsu's method has some limitations. The algorithm only works well if the intensity histogram has a bimodal distribution. And what I mean by that is that there are distinct values for the background and distinct values for the foreground. And there are situations where your histogram might not have a bimodal distribution. For example, if the object area is much smaller compared to the background area, or if the object intensity is very dim, if the image is very noisy, or if the image contains objects with different discrete intensities. And finally, Otsu's method is a global thresholding algorithm, which means that it uses the intensity of the entire image to figure out the threshold intensity. So this algorithm does not work well if the image has uneven illumination, causing part of the image to be brighter than the other.